have you I've got here my parallels at VS driver this uh, four IRFP 250s two and two in parallel I have a standard flyback in here in uh, 1647 nanofarad uh, condensers in 1680 and just a call that came out of a power supply and then uh, yeah I've got the oscilloscope on it at the moment this is the gate voltage it's a 12 volt power source and I'll flick it over to 24 and then you can see the Zeno effect as the sine wave becomes a lot more square so the Zeno is clamping that means the 12 volt Zeno is clamping at 24 volts here we just got a small arc at the moment by putting a fan on today you can create quite interesting effects telescope signal becomes quite noisy. I'll turn the fan away. Stabilizes again. So it causes a lot of interference. Okay I'll put the oscilloscope now on the, the casing of the t uh, power MOSFET. Uh, we need to reduce the size a bit here I think. And we get this type of wave. Quite a bit of heat generated as the copper glows. We're doing about uh, six amperes, five and a half, six ampere. It's also visible in this digital meter here, five point Lord, five point one. MOSFETs on his heat sinks above each other. The gates are just paralleled up on one four seventy ohm resistor, probably about two watts. And I've got a Zeno segment here in the middle. Two Zenos and two 10 kilo ohm uh, resist resistors. One is underneath the black clip, that's currently the, oscill uh, the oscilloscope clip. Got the one there, and yeah, this is just a small flyback from a uh, TV monitor. Works quite well. And just um, flip that over from there to there. It's the arc gap. <laughs> Here we got the gate signal again. Okay, we'll do a bit of galvanized wire. Quite cool. 24 volts at VS 5.7 ampere, 6 ampere. It melts galvanized wire. Deanodized device.